Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we're going to have a look at reasons why car RPM goes up and down at idle. The engine RPM fluctuating up and down at idle is sometimes called idle surge or hunting. It is a common problem with a variety of potential causes. It happens because the engine control unit or the ECU is constantly correcting a faulty signal or air fuel imbalance, causing the idle speed to oscillate instead of holding steady. Let's have a look at some of the common reasons why idle speed is surging like that. Well, number one is vacuum leak. This is a very common cause. The engine relies on a precise amount of air entering through the throttle body when the throttle is closed. A vacuum leak is an unmetered air leak. Air that enters the engine without being measured by the mass air flow meter or the manifold absolute pressure sensor. Now, the ECU commands a specific amount of fuel based on the measured amount of air. Now, if extra air leaks in, the engine runs lean. This is when there is too much air than required fuel. Then the ECU try to correct it by adding more fuel, often overcompensating and causing the RPM to spike. Then it pulls back again, causing the RPM to fall and the cycle repeats. This is how this balance unbalance, balance unbalance action causes the engine RPM to fluctuate. It could be caused by a cracked or dirty or disconnected vacuum hoses. Rotted vacuum hoses can leak vacuum. Faulty intake manifold gasket could be the problem. A throttle body gasket failure, a brake booster hose disconnected or some kind of leakage there, power steering vacuum lines, some crack in there, all this can cause a vacuum leak. So a vacuum leak is the most common cause of engine idle speed fluctuation. Let's go to cause number two, dirty or faulty idle air control valve. The idle air control valve is a small motor operated valve that bypasses air around the closed throttle plate to control idle speed. It is the ECU's primary tool for managing idle speed. Now, if it is gummed up with carbon deposit, then it will stick. The ECU command it to open or close, but due to this gumming up, it gets stuck, causing the RPM to drop. The ECU is then commanded to open more. It suddenly unstick, the RPM goes up, a stick again, RPM goes down. This creates a cycle. A failed motor inside the idle air control valve will also have similar effect, unable to respond to the ECU's command. So the ECU command, it has to be turn it to practice very, very fast. But if that carbon deposit causes it to somehow respond sluggishly, and that will cause the idle to fluctuate. The third problem is when there is dirty throttle body. You know, modern electronic throttle bodies, they are in this drive-by-wire type vehicles, they don't have a separate idle air control valve. The ECU rather controls the idle by simply opening the throttle body slightly and closing the main throttle plate itself. Now, a layer of black oily carbon buildup on the, throttle, on the throttle body and especially around the throttle plate can disrupt the precise amount of air allowed to pass. This will confuse the ECU's attempt to maintain a steady idle. So, dirty throttle body can also cause irregular idle speed. The fourth problem is when there is a faulty throttle position sensor. The throttle position sensor tells the ECU the position of the throttle plate. Now, if it sent an erratic or incorrect signal, for example, it could be telling the ECU the throttle is slightly open when it is actually closed. Now, this kind of faulty signal can cause the idle speed to fluctuate. The ECU will constantly adjust fuel delivery and ignition timing based on the faulty information leading to unstable idle. So bad throttle position sensor can also be a culprit for unstable idle. Let's go to the fifth problem, a faulty mass airflow sensor or MAP sensor. These sensors, they are very critical for measuring the amount of air entering the engine. And if they are dirty or if they are failing, if they are going bad, they send incorrect data to the electronic control unit. A dirty MAF sensor often underreport airflow, causing the ECU to add less fuel, making the engine run lean and stumble. The ECU then struggle to correct, leading to surging. A faulty 
MAP sensor also sends incorrect manifold pressure reading, causing similar fuel calculation errors. So, if the amount of air admitted into the engine is not reported to the ECU correctly, then the amount of calculated fuel will be wrong, and that wrong fuel will cause idle fluctuation. Faulty oxygen sensor is the number six problem. Oxygen sensors monitor the amount of oxygen in the exhaust, and this tells the ECU whether the fuel mixture is rich or lean. Now, the ECU uses this data for continuously fine-tuning the air-fuel mixture formation. It's a closed-loop operation. A slow or faulty oxygen sensor sends delayed or incorrect data. The ECU is constantly making corrections based on bad information, often overcorrecting and creating rich lane oscillations that manifests as a surging idle. So that is another cause. The oxygen sensor, if it is faulty, if it is reporting wrongly, that can cause idle fluctuation as well. The other problem that can cause idle fluctuation is dirty fuel system. For example, dirty fuel injectors. Clogged or dirty fuel injector cannot atomize fuel properly, leading to uneven spray pattern and irregular air-fuel mixture formation, causing misfires and rough idle. Weak or underperforming fuel pump or clogged fuel filter, all this can be a cause for idle surging. A failing fuel pump or dirty fuel filter can cause low fuel pressure. The engine may idle okay until a slight load is applied, for example, an AC compressor kicking on and since the pressure drops, causing the RPM to die, dip, or surge as the ECU tries to compensate. So, weak fuel pump or clogged fuel filter can also be causing some erratic engine speed fluctuation. Number eight is when there is a problem with the engine sensors. For example, when there is a problem with the coolant temperature sensor, or when there is a problem with the crankshaft or camshaft position sensor. Now, the engine coolant temperature sensor is a sensor that tells the ECU whether the engine is cold or hot. Now, when the engine is still reported to be cold, when it is actually at its operating temperature, then the ECU will stay in a warm-up mode, injecting more fuel, raising idle speed. This will potentially lead to erratic engine operation and high engine speed as well. So. A wrong information from the coolant temperature sensor can cause erratic engine speed operation. A failing sensor that can cause erratic spark timing. It could be a crankshaft position sensor or it could be a camshaft position sensor. If this is not reporting correct data as well, this will lead to misfires and a very rough fluctuating idle could result as a result of misinformation up to the position of the crankshaft. Now, what can you do in order to diagnose if there is an erratic idle? The first thing you should do is check for trouble codes. Even if the check engine light is not turned on, there might be a pending code. So use an OBD2 scanner to read any stored codes. A code can point you directly to the faulty sensor. If, for example, you found out that P0101 is registered, that is for mass airflow meter, P0300 is for random misfire. So, whatever you do, just try to scan the engine. And visually inspect. Look for obvious vacuum leaks. Listen for hissing sound around the engine bay with the engine running. And check hoses and connections for any potential leakage. And also don't forget to clean some of the very sensitive items. For example, you could be cleaning the mass airflow sensor with proper MAF cleaner. Clean the throttle body and uh, the idle air control valve. All this could get cleaned. And if it is, related, it is a relatively easy task, it's inexpensive to operate. So do this and uh, often this can solve the erratic idle issue. If the problem persists after basic checks, then it's best to take your vehicle to a mechanic so that they have the expertise and the tools required for in-depth diagnosis of what is causing the issue. They can use a smoke machine to find hidden vacuum leaks and they can perform live data monitoring to see what sensor is reading erratically. So these are some of the things that you need to consider. So always remember the main causes of the 
erratic idle. We have mentioned vacuum leak. This is when unmetered air confuses the ECU, causing lean condition, and ECU tries to correct it constantly. And uh, dirty idle air control valve or dirty throttle body, or faulty, or faulty idle air control valve or faulty throttle body. All this can cause erratic idle as the ECU cannot precisely control the air bypassing the throttle plate, leading to erratic adjustment. Faulty throttle position sensor, faulty MAF sensor, or manifold absolute pressure sensor. All this gets, if they provide incorrect data up to the amount of air admitted into the engine or the, the position of the throttle, the throttle, then the ECU will do incorrect fuel calculations, leading to rough idle again. Faulty oxygen sensor, we have mentioned, the ECU gets incorrect data up to how much oxygen is available in the exhaust. This is causing it to overcorrect the fuel mixture. Either it will become bridge or it will become lean. This will cause rough idle again. And finally, we have mentioned dirty fuel system. So inconsistent fuel delivery that causes fluctuation of air fuel mixture, leading to misfire and surging. So start with simple and free checks. Then visually inspect for any vacuum leak, any disconnected hoses, all those sorts of things. And before moving to cleaning sensors and uh, using fancy equipment for checking your engine, you can always start from visual inspection of any susceptible parts and uh, hoses and connections. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding some of the reasons your car RPM goes up and down at idle. If you find this video helpful and if, if you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing, turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.